Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica and it's Trusting True Tarot. Thank you guys so much for showing up. All right, so new subscribers, old subscribers, if you guys are not already aware, daily readings. I do not do daily readings on um, the weekend. So, of course, it's pre recorded. So, Pisces, my beautiful Pisces cross watchers, third parties, you guys know that when I post these daily readings, this is not exactly what has to be occurring on today. This could be happening a couple of days in advance or a couple of days behind. OK, so let's get into this reading. I already have the cards laid out to save time to make sure that I'm consistent with these daily readings. Thank you guys so much for voting on daily readings. OK, so that's why I'm deciding to do this for you guys. OK, hopefully this helps and assist you in some way. Hopefully you hear this message when you're intended to hear it. Go ahead and hit that like button, you guys. OK, so Pisces in your energy, we have the King of Cups here in reverse. What's coming towards you? The emperor. The advice. We have the queen of swords with the hermit. Okay. So straight off the bat, there could be a Virgo in this energy. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of quarants here. There could be a Virgo coming towards you, a Libra, a Taurus, or an Aries. Um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Okay, so let's get to this reading. Sorry, you guys. So, Pisces, in your energy, I'm getting that you are constantly, constantly trying to communicate to someone your emotions and feelings. I feel like it's it's this energy of where it's like you want someone to understand your emotions. You want someone to understand your deep emotions and feelings, how you truly feel deep down inside, what's making you feel a certain way. It's like you want someone to understand what it is that you're feeling, right? That's what it is. You're trying to get someone to understand your, your hurt, your pain, your emotional disappointment. Um... You know, why you feel this way, why you feel the way you feel. And I feel like the way you're coming towards this person, it seems like you kind of really are kind of like feeling like overwhelmed, overwhelmed by your emotions and feelings. But at the same time, there's a threatening energy of, hey, I'm not going to show my emotions to you anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not giving you any more of my love. It's like, you know, um, closing your heart off to this person. You may be getting to the point where you don't feel like it's safe to love this person. The way this person is coming towards you, it seems like a very bit of um, controlling energy. It seems someone who has control issues. It seems someone who may be trying to assert themselves in some way um, into your life, uh, trying to kind of like give you orders in some way. But it's like they want you to. It's my way or the highway. They want you to do what they want you to. What you what they want you to do. It's a lot of um. It's a lot of control issues here. Mm. This person may be very rigid, very stern, uh, someone that's very unyielding, a stubborn energy. And yeah, I'm just getting this energy where I do feel like this person wants to find a way to be amicable, but it feels like on their terms. And I feel like you're not feeling it, Pisces. Like you're just not feeling this anymore. That's what it is. Hmm. <laughs> it's weird because I feel like this person seems to be very like, they're very withdrawn from your your what you're feeling, your emotions. It's like, It's like, this conversation is over. You know, I've said what I've said type of energy. So for the advice, the way you should be coming towards this person, honestly, here with this Queen of Swords and the Hermit, I'm getting this energy, Pisces, that you need to be direct with this person. You need to say what you need to say. 
with conviction in your voice. You need to be stern. You need to be logical. You need to leave your emotions out of the situation. And then you need to withdraw from this. You need to go within. It's like the spirit wants you to stop repeating yourself. Stop saying something over and over again. Stop telling yourself something that you're going to do with this person. And they said, or stop telling this person something. It's like, say it, mean it. And then it's like, pull away, withdraw from the situation. Like I've said what I had to say, and I'm not going to continue to go back and forth with you with the overall energy being the two of swords. It's almost like this conversation is over. I've already said what I meant. And I'm no longer going to pour my emotions and my feelings out there for someone who does not show that same sympathy, that same love, that same understanding. I feel like this person is far removed from feelings or emotions or your feelings or emotions. And you need to know that. So this is like, hey, this is where I draw the line. I draw the line here. I'm not going to be sensitive to your emotions, to your feelings, to your desires, to your wants, to your needs. If you can't be understanding and understand what I'm feeling. See, the issue is that this person feels a need to control something here. And someone really uh, is someone who kind of like di dictates, like uh, this is a dictator, someone who dictates things and expects you to listen, follow their lead, do what they're telling you to do, feel the way they want you to feel, think the way you want them to think, that type of energy. And as long as you're doing that, that's reasonable. You're like, you know what I'm saying? That That's amicable for them. So that's what I'm seeing. And I feel like Pisces Spirit is saying, like, you need to draw the line. Draw the line here. And, like, be done with it. Go within. Withdraw. Say what you have to say and be done. Put your foot down. Be stern with this person. Be vindicated. Vindicate yourself in some way. It's like you have to communicate. You have to say something to this person. You have to be direct and you have to mean it. Okay? And you have to be logical. You have to take your emotions out of the situation when you're saying this. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's like, here's where I draw, draw the line and I'm removing myself from this conversation now because I'm not going to force someone to understand what I'm feeling or make someone love me or make someone care or make someone understand. Either you do or you don't. Either you care or you don't. You know what I'm saying? Either you will or you want. Okay. I'm going to say this, Pisces. I say this not to be harsh to you, but whatever it is that you're looking for this person to say, whatever it is that you're, you're deeply emotionally desiring for this person to show you in love, reciprocate, show you, um, spirit is saying you need to go within. Okay. The answers that you're seeking are within. It's weird. It's almost like begging someone to love you um, trying to force someone to understand your emotions and feelings when it's not for them to understand. It's not for them to care. Okay. 